Hi, I'm Brian Pugh, Oklahoma State University Extension Educator. The cost of livestock mortality composting largely depends on the availability and cost of local carbon sources. For more information on selecting the proper carbon source for your livestock composting pile, please refer to the question dealing with carbon source selection. Previous research with livestock composting indicates that a carbon source with a high C to N ratio and a low air infiltration rate is the ideal choice, such as the wood shavings you see behind me. Many producers think that wood shavings are difficult to find in their locale. However, as a producer, if you will check with local tree trimming crews or even your local county fair barn, you will find that there are many loads of shavings that are either at reduced cost or even free of charge. One thing to remember with any carbon source, whether you use shavings, corn stalks, wheat straw, or even old hay, is that many times we can compost multiple mortalities in this pile before it needs to be changed to new material. For instance, the wood shavings here will compost two to three carcasses before we need to replace this with new. Therefore, the initial cost of this carbon is divided up over the total number of mortalities we can compost in this pile. Another portion of the cost of livestock composting will be in the construction of a composting bin. The temporary bin you see behind me is composed of steel T-post and net wire and should cost a producer around $60 to construct. However, the lifespan of this structure is about five to seven years. So again, we can take the initial cost of the construction, divide it by the total number of mortalities we're able to compost, and we will get a, an ending cost for each animal carcass that we compost here. A producer might opt for a more dedicated compost bin, such as using a concrete pad and treated wood walls. If this is the case, we would expect the initial cost to be higher, but the lifespan of the structure would also be longer, possibly up to 20 years. Therefore, again, dividing the initial cost by the number of mortalities we can compost will give us a composting cost per animal. So remember, the cost of large animal mortality composting is dependent on the availability and affordability of local carbon sources, as well as the initial construction cost and the lifespan of your compost bin.